Hello, everyone. And I do that for screenshot purposes. Well, I want y'all to see my home shot. All right. Hey, cousins. Woo, child. Shout out to the people that watch the IG shows tonight. Woo. Yeah. The Instagram shows tonight, baby. I'll, I'll get into that in one second. Oh, let me do the link. Okay, I'm going to get into the messiness that happened. <laughs> let me pin the link for y'all to be a guest on the show. Let me put a, pin the link for y'all to be a guest on the show. Look, I'm almost about to do that, and then I'll get to the house rules. But, baby, this is why you need to watch all three platforms, because you'll know. And you'll never know what you're going to see, child. Um, all right, so if you want to be a guest, it's pinned in the comment section on YouTube. Let me pin it in the comment section on Facebook, child. Mm, mm, mm. Join as guests. All right. In the meantime, cousins, shout out where y'all watching from. Shout out where you're watching from. Shout out where you're watching from in the meantime, cousins. Pin. All right. So it's been pinned in the YouTube um, comment section. The Facebook comment section, the link is there. Um, if you guys want to be a guest on the show. Baby, when I tell you Instagram show tonight, tonight, I'm about to give the house rules. I will give y'all a recap. It will be a highlight video. So y'all be able to see it for yourself. But um, all right, a couple things. 21 and Oza, have good Wi-Fi, have good light. No videos come down. Kendra G, that's I. I'm not reliable forever you meet. Whoever you meet is on you. Boo. I. <laughs> so I did and I, so we had a lady on the show over the weekend. She told me she was divorced last year. Well, apparently she's still married and her husband called in tonight and gave all of the tea. I mean, he, he, he gave the tea. He gave the lemonade. He gave the coffee. He gave the mimosa. He gave the... He gave the Slurpee, he gave the pina colada, he gave the Jamaica rum punch, he gave the water, he gave the soup, he gave the heavy I mean, baby. He left no crumbs. I mean, he could have just stopped at the fact that they were, once they were still legally married. But instead, baby, he gave all of it. All of it. So I say this to say to all of y'all, child, please don't call me telling no lies. I personally do not have time to research your lies. I don't. But my cousins who work for the KBI, which is stronger than the FBI, KBI, if you do not know, stands for Kendra's Bureaus of Investigation. They have time to research your lies. And it's very likely if you lie to me, you're gonna get exposed. So remember, you voluntarily call me, I call no one. I ask everyone the same questions. If you are not aware of the magnitude of this platform, be aware, be aware. Thousands and hundreds of people will see you on the show. So he said his niece saw it, his niece sent him the video, and I can't play no music. I can't play no music, but if I could play music, the Nas Ether beats would have played in the background. Rudy, <laughs> you'll see the video. You'll see it for yourself. And you will understand for yourself why, let it be a lesson. Do not call me lying. Please don't call me lying, child. Please don't. I don't want that for anybody. All right, um, let's keep going. Um, let's keep going. It's not deleted. You cannot see it. <laughs> it's not deleted. Um, oh, her, oh, she deleted her Instagram page. Um, I don't know what she did. Again, um, it's not deleted on IG, it's archived, but you guys will see it. Tomorrow will be a highlight video, so you'll be able to see it tomorrow. So right now, though, you got to stay um, in um, the moment of the YouTube show. And someone said it great, no videos come down. I say that on the top of every show, child. No videos come down. I call no one. I call no one. You call me. You volunteer to be on the show. You volunteer to have yourself on the show. So no videos um, come down. Um, all right, cousins, let me know where you're watching from. We're about to start our show. We're about to start our show. Um, um, we're about to start our show. All right, let's get into it. Um, Louis, Louise, Louise, show me your room, Louise. 
Show me the. Oh, you're from earlier. Hi. I'm from earlier. Hi. Okay. <laughs> we got disconnected. Yes. Okay. So I think I might still have your information written down somewhere. So let me see what I know. Um, Kiana, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is Kiana. She was on the Facebook show. And then something happened in the car drop, but we got Kiana LA. My, is my here, client, so. I had to buzz my client. What happened? I had to buzz my I had to buzz my client in, so it muted our call. Okay, I hope Perfect. your Wi-Fi is acting right. Yeah. Hello, your Wi-Fi is freezing up on you, honey. Kiana, are you ready? Turn Kiana, off. what did you say? I'm sorry. Okay, because cause I, I oh. the Wi we can't have the Wi-Fi issue again, but it seems like your Wi-Fi is freezing. Okay, up let again. me try to turn it off. Let me try to turn it off. Ooh, child. Okay, Veronica, honey. I, I gotta show the host, honey. I gotta show the host. Um V, V, show me your room, V. V, show me your room. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. What's your name, honey? Veronica. Okay. You're not the Veronica that just got exposed by your ex-husband, Ru well, your husband, Rudy, are you? No, I'm the Veronica where your cousin. Wait, your Wi-Fi is acting up now, too. Wait, hold on. Your Wi-Fi is acting up, too. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna stay in my living room. Can you hear me? You're frozen on my screen. Okay, this is better. Oh. You're live again. That's better. And you gotta stop moving. So you said you're the Veronica what? Um, Your cousin's like clown me. I don't know if you guys couldn't hear me. You were saying something about a lab or something where I had to wait a couple seconds to answer questions. And like, I don't know, they couldn't really understand me. Like, um, I was saying I'm CBRF certified. They were saying I'm CPR certified. And it was just a whole lot. It's been a while though. Okay, we could do it again, but you gotta make sure your Wi-Fi is good this time. You ready? Okay. Uh-huh, right. I'm ready. Okay, V. V, how old are you? I'm 30. 30. 30, what do you do for a living? Um, I, I do a lot. Um, I'm a healthcare provider. Um, right now I'm at Walmart. I kind of bounce all over. Um, I make wigs. Um, I kind of do oh, a lot. Okay. I'm in school. How old are you? Um, are you 30? So what do you want me to, what, what do you, what do you want me to write for your profession? Um, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And, but it's wigs, healthcare provider and Walmart. Yep. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two. How old are your two kids? I have a three-year-old and I have a six-year-old. Are, are they by the same man? No. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? You did this last time. Um, <laughs> We're gonna do it again. I don't remember. Okay. And it's a, it's a question okay, um, I'm not with him. I'm not with him because he's just not right. He he's Hispanic, okay. He's not black. Um, he's like I would say a leech. He don't want to. He I'm like the man of the relationship. He don't want to do the things he's supposed to do, like far as going to work and getting a job, like working the legal way. He wants to work the illegal way. So like he can't get his I don't know where he see his future. Hey, I'm gonna be honest job. with you. Your wife is not. V, your, your Wi-Fi's not on your side, honey. So you said this is the other oh, time we had a lag. Your Wi-Fi isn't isn't on your side tonight either. Okay, let's say right there. Let's see if this works. Now, what did you say the reason you're not with your child's father that's three years old? He's not, he's he don't have his shit together. Put it like that. He's not, he's not a man. He he doesn't have have his things down pack of what a man should be. He's not in order. He's just all over the place with it. Can I ask you a question? Was he ever in order? Before when we we are high school sweethearts. So yes, I, I would say he he was in order before he was. I'm not gonna lie, he was. He well, had it. High that school, was well, high school is a high school is not fair because high school is high school, child. 
Yeah, we, I would say up until we were 21. We stopped. We broke bad at 21. Put it like that. Let me ask you this. You 16... said that you want... Okay, what was you going to say? From 16 to 21, we broke bad. So okay, like you're 30 years old. Okay, you're 30 mm -hmm. years old. Your baby's three, so you got pregnant at 26. Yes. Maybe, right? We had a first, we had a first, we had a miscarriage. We had our first child back in 2015. And that was a stillborn baby. That was like our first child. And like soon after we lost our baby, everything just it broke bad. It started another relationship right away. And it just went down from there. And it was like he would continue to come back and dip in my life. It didn't dip back out. Just in and out. Well, I'm very sorry you lost your child. Your, your baby was stillborn. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I want to ask this question. Let me just ask this question directly. When you were dealing with him, did you know he was in the streets? No. No. So when you got pregnant with your three-year-old child, you, what did you think his job was? Well, when I got pregnant with my three-year-old child, like I said, we were dipping. We wouldn't, I wasn't in a relationship with him. What did you think his, hold on, V, V, what did you think, what did you think, what did you think his job was before you got pregnant with him by your three-year-old child? What did I think his job was? What do you mean? Like, what, what do I think his because job was? Because you're telling me, because I asked you why you are not with a three-year-old child. And rightfully so, you said he's in the streets. He doesn't want to get his life together. He doesn't. And I, and those are all good reasons. But I'm trying to figure out, did you get pregnant with him knowing those things? So I'm asking you, what did you think his job was before you got pregnant by him? To hit it and quit it. It was just, it was booty calls. It was just us just not working in the relationship. It was just, we were just v, having sex. V, honey, v, 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 honey. honey. You're not answering my question. My question is very clear. And I know the cousins be getting mad, but this is why at times it's a challenge with women because y'all just won't answer the question. The question is quite simple. What did you think his occupation was when you was having sex with him? I mean, hey, he didn't have an occupation at the moment. I mean, he was, I'm not going to lie. He was working, but. Okay. So I, but listen, I'm just trying to get you to realize you knowingly was participating with him in that way. So you 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 said the reason you're not with him is the same thing you accepted with about him. Like you were sleeping with him knowing he was all those things. You didn't he didn't lie to you. That's who he was. And you move forward with him and end up getting pregnant. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to help you take some accountability in knowing yeah. who you got pregnant by. But this is the issue. I'm just like this. Overall, overall, this is a real challenge for women in general. I have at times with the show because it's almost like women do not want to admit that there is an accountability factor in these relationships. They just want to focus on the man. But I think if we could focus on the facts, we could learn from the mistakes and move forward. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. All right, so now that we got there, and, and and the question would have been very simple if you would have just answered it when I was asking you, girl, but let's keep going. No, because so it's a whole story behind it. I really want to get in deep to how I got pregnant. It's a story behind how, how I got pregnant. Like I was saying, we was dipping and dabbing in. Like the whole world know, everybody know, people around me. The way I got pregnant is, okay, I had was in a relationship with a white man, and I had made a status on Facebook stating, you know, like I'm no longer going to be available. I'm I'm not going to be single anymore. And my baby dad hopped in my inbox that night. Oh, can we sleep together one more time? I see you found you a man. You doing you. I'm doing me. Great. I slept with him that one night. Mind you, we always slept with protection. He slipped the condom off. Mind you, to this day, after we slept together, he slipped the condom off of me to not knowing because he been hitting it from the back. And he announced he slipped the condom off. And he laughed. A month later, I was pregnant. Still to this day, he he laugh about it like it's a joke. Still to this, he he knowing his doing. We had been sleeping together, mind you. We lost our baby in 2015. He's been the only man I've been sleeping with. It took for him to 2020 to get me pregnant. And the way he got me is he slipped the condom off, and he knows to this day like he trapped me. But still at the same time, me being me, yeah, I knew who I was sleeping with, but I wouldn't suspect for him to play it down like that, you know, and not step up and be the dad uh, after me knowing him all these years. You know, it's been. Almost 13, 14 years that I've known him. And it's just, it's just, wow. I don't even want to get into him. I'm just.
It's just wild. <laughs> yeah. It's dirty. Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> so basically you you were just trying to have enjoyment sex. Y'all had a yes. condom. He slipped the condom off and that's yes. how you got pregnant. Words to mother. I kid you not. I, I swear that's exactly how it happened. And he laughed about it. And you know, me being me, and I'm like, okay, ain't nothing gonna happen. Me, I'm at my white man house and I, I'm throwing up and I'm like, okay, it's time for my period and for you know oh, it, I'm oh, pregnant. Oh, so at that time, at that time, you were in a relationship with a white man? Yeah, I was starting a relationship. You know, I was, you know, we had been friends for a while and then we wanted to take it up and not sure it was like, you know, so so talk to me. I have a question. So you slept with him while you was in a relationship with someone else. Yeah, we never had sex though. My white man, we never had sex. We were friends. But that's we not, were getting but I'm, I'm just asking I'm asking you a clear question. You we were friends. Y'all, y'all. Okay, this this these com these conversations be so complicated because y'all just don't be wanting to answer the question, Sean. What I just told you we were friends. Okay, so what did you okay? What was the Facebook status again? I met a, a friend. We're taking it up a notch. I'm no longer going to be single because we were getting ready to get serious. So it was like, okay, now it's time to stop playing around, cut everybody off, let it be known. I found someone. Okay, so, so okay, we pause begin right there. So pause, okay, pause right mm -hmm. there. So you, you made a Facebook status saying you found someone, you're going to be serious in this relationship. He hit you up and you still slept with him. Yes, my, I mean, it's my baby's dad. I told you I was, he was like, we need to sleep together one last time and da da da. And it was like, hey, okay, let's just one last time. That's it. So he caught me on that last round. Maybe if you would have just stayed true to your Facebook post and been with the man that you had claimed that you were about to be with. I mean, I'm not saying it's right that he slipped the condom off. So don't think that's true. But what I'm just trying to get women to understand is if you can hold yourself accountable for the re for the consequences of your actions, you can then choose better actions. And the truth yeah. be told is you should have never slept with him because you said he was in a new relationship. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's the only way to answer this question is the reality is this. You should have been loyal to the man you put out to the world you was about to be loyal to. And that's how your three-year-old child got here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now that we got clarity, and no, I'm not blaming your child's father. I, I mean, you guys are equal participants. Because let me tell you yeah. something else, too, ladies. What y'all don't realize is the the best flex is when your ex comes back and you're not available. That was the prime yes. opportunity for you to 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 prove to him, like, no, you moved on. Because if you really are a good woman, because I hear everybody y'all are good women, right? If you're a good woman, you're gonna mm -hmm. find a, a better man. And then your ex mm -hmm. is going to try to see if he still got power. Because that's an ego thing. Like, your ex wants to prove, like, yeah, she got a man, but I can still hit it when I when I want to hit it. This yeah. is your prime opportunity to prove to your ex, no, I got a new man, and I'm not doing that. And you lost out on a good woman. But instead, you proved to him that he could still have you if he wanted to. Yeah. It's the biggest flex learning. is not being available for your ex when he try to come back. The biggest flex Amen. is not being available for your ex when he tries to come back. That's take that as a lesson, ladies. Now let's start V. We got V, 30, healthcare entrepreneur. She makes she works at Walmart. She makes wigs. Mama, two kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. When's your birthday? May 20th. Okay, May 20th. All right, May 20th. And what, what city you live in? Wisconsin. West what? Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Milwaukee. Okay. All right, let's do it. Wisconsin. All right, V, 30, is a tourist, mono two kids, never married, right? No. Never married. Um, has a three-year-old and a six-year-old. We got the backstory. Um, entrepreneur calling us from Milwaukee. What kind of man are you looking for now? Um, independent, someone who's looking to build, not looking to get built up. Like I want my man already built. Someone who knows what they want. Okay, a man that knows what he wants. What are your deal breakers? 
Uh, I would say liars. Um, someone who's not committed, don't know how to keep their word. Just be a man of your word. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, not necessarily. I don't, I'm not kind of like a into the look type of girl. So the looks doesn't really matter to me. Okay. What about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Mm, yeah, he got to bring in the bacon. <laughs> What's, how much bacon he has to bring in? He, he needs at least a couple hundred thousand a year, at least. A couple? Yeah, a couple least. has at least 200K a year? Yeah, at least 200K a year. So I'm assuming your three-year-old dad made that because he was working in the streets, right? <laughs> no, he made 90. 90K a year. Have you ever dated a man and that was 200? Now, the streets money, I never really counted the streets money because I wasn't into that. So, like, that's a straight turn off. But as far as, like, working, he made 90K for, like, an actual job. But on the street, I never counted the street money because I never seen it. So, he wasn't never around me with it. So, I can't sit there and say what he made off the street money. But I don't know. Okay. Have you, have you, just curious, have you ever dated a man that made 200K? Yes, I have. You have what? What was his occupation? He um he's, he had rental properties and he inherited it a lot. So like um my my rich white guy I'm telling you about. So he um he owned rental properties. He had a forty. The rich white guy that you had a great chance with, but you slept with the baby daddy and got pregnant. Oh, don't do like that, kid, but yes. <laughs> so did, I mean, did y'all yes. break up once you once once you got to reveal something that you were pregnant? No, we we actually were friends for a while. You know, I never took it to the relationship part, but he was still a great guy, and it was just like I allowed for my baby daddy to like. Okay, well, hold on, but he's not an option because I'm asking you, did you ever date a man that made two hundred k? Now you're telling me y'all were just friends. So which one is it? I mean, he was kind of. I was he sponsored me, so we never. When I say date, I never mean like we never slept together, but. We were working towards things. We never had a sexual relationship out of the years we've known each other. Because I've known him for seven years now. I haven't talked to him in maybe two years, but I, I'd known him for a while. So it wasn't like, you know, he's met my family, took my families on trips, cabin logs a lot. So, like, it, I would consider it kind of dating. I mean, I even got engaged to him. So he even proposed to me. So. Wait, I have a question. So, you guys never in life had sex? No, we were saving it for marriage. He, we were saving it for marriage. How long and I know this, him. How, long, how old was this rich white man? Huh? How old was he? Oh, he was uh, 59. Yeah. So 59 years old. So you said he mm -hmm. sponsored you. So you, he was paying your bills and stuff? Yes, paying my bills, taking me on trips. Supporting me with anything I needed. He was so, like, uh, we were friends before anything. But I mean, knowing that we wanted each other, it wasn't like, it was just like we wasn't moving fast. It wasn't like he were pressuring me to do things, even though he, I, I know myself, he wanted to sleep with me, but it was just him being the man that he was. He was gentle with patience with me. He knew that, you know, I, I really don't like sex before marriage. So it's like, he was really big you know, on that. Who doesn't him. like sex before marriage? I don't the, the, discourage my baby daddy. But as far as getting in the street, sleep with other men, I, I can vouch. I don't. I don't do that. So besides but have, my baby daddy, have, that's my. Two, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, you have you have yep. two baby daddies, right? I do. Yes. So when did you start the rule? You don't believe in sex before marriage. Hmm. I started that kind of. Um, after my son, after I gave birth to my son, I mean, I've been just only sleeping with my. So basically, the white guy, you didn't want to have sex with him. So what is? I did, but like I didn't. Did. I did, but I didn't. I didn't I want to add a new collect. Why would say this? It's it's, it's, it's a body count thing. thing. I don't want to add another body count. If I'm still sleeping with my baby dad, who I've been sleeping with for the last 15 years, why go add a new body count when you know? I can just go sleep with him and get it over with, and then. What was the kind of man you told me you wanted again, honey? What was the kind of what was the qualities he said? What what were the people are paid to ask you questions too? 
Um, you said what Ray was Ray J. I'm gonna read these first. Ray J said she was trying to get that pension. <laughs> said, Kendra, you can't make this stuff up, Miss Kendra. LW says you want a man that makes 200k. Please elaborate on what you're bringing to the table in the relationship. My own everything, my own business. I, oh, I, I didn't mention that neither. I have my own, my own business. I have an LLC. I am a um, care provider. My business is called Care for by Angels. So that's my business by itself will bring that in. I've had that business for a year now. So I now, bring to now, my own hey. everything. V, I'm, listen, I, I'm, yes. trying to, I'm trying to understand, so you got to stop moving. So you want a man that makes 200K, and you also don't want to have sex until you're married? Is that still your rule? Um, that would be hard. I mean... But it wasn't hard was. with a 59-year-old white man. No, it wasn't, because we, we grew into that. We grew into that. We were friends before anything. So we were friends and then it just turned to liking each other. And then it's like, okay, so where could we take it from here type of thing? It wasn't no, hey, my friend who sponsored me. It was, hey, how you doing? And it, he came to me, actually. He, he came up to me and Dave and Buster. I was taking my kid out for Dave and Buster. And he just came up to me and was like, hey, how about you pick your kid any toy in the store? Like literally anything he wanted in the store. And my son grabbed the smallest teddy bear and they just went on from there. It wasn't like. Okay, were, please, let me say this. So so V, you're you're saying you want another man like this. You want another man that's gonna spoil you in this way that makes two hundred k. Don't necessarily have to be no man to spoil me. I do everything I for. I spoil myself. I do everything for myself. Then why does a man have to make two? Okay, so with that, so but you told me that the man has to make at least a couple of hundred, which is I a couple is two, so two hundred k to date you. Um, and you've never really dated a man that made 200K other than the white guy that was doing stuff for you that you didn't have sex with, correct? Oh, I, I have another friend. I have another friend, another white okay, friend. Okay, I'm, I'm actually so We okay, can get ask, deep. Let me, this, let me ask I, this. Go ahead. This get deep over here, Kendra. It just it, it, it may take some time, but it get deep over here, baby. I have another friend who just placed me in a... Uh, a Hummer uh, 2002 H2 sitting up on 26s, and I've never slept with him either. Like, all my friends are wealthy. I I come across, across wealthy friends. I don't, I mean. Okay, so, you don't v, with that being said, V, with that being said, why call me? Why not just date these wealthy men that are buying you trucks, taking care of your kids? What is the point of you calling me? If you They're friends, Kendra. Them? What's wrong with having friends? They're friends. Well, honey, I'm trying to. Well, you you're bringing them up and dating. Now I'm asking you clear questions. No, this is where see, I get aggravated. This is where I get because I'm getting aggravated. Because you said dating. dating. Listen, honey, V V, you, you tested my patience. So here is the question I'm asking you. You bringing up these men when I'm asking you, have you ever dated a man that has 200k? One time they're friends, one time they're not. My thing is, if you got two men who are fooling you. Then, girl, you got it. There's no need for you to call me. Kendra. Wouldn't that be the truth? What's your, de what's your definition of dating? Because there's two definitions of dating. There's a definition of dating. There's a definition okay, of Okay, let friends. me ask you this. What is your idea of a relationship that you're seeking? What What is the definition of a relationship to you? An ideal of a relationship? Well, I am a homebody, so someone who knows how to take care of home, someone who, who knows how to take care of a woman, Someone who who know how to go work, go to work, and come home and take care of a family. So these men, so so these men are not relationships. They're because they're not these people. They're not partners with you, right? I mean, they they could be, but I'm not sleeping with anyone. Men get upset when you don't want to sleep with them. So if you you're upset because I don't want to sleep with you, I'm gonna friend zone you. I don't go off giving up the goodies. You're gonna be my friend for anything. I'm gonna. I'm going to fuck your brain before I fuck what's in your pants. I want to know what's up here before I want to know what's down there. So I come across a lot of men who don't have the patience for that. They want to right away. I'm not that girl. I'm sorry. It's not going to fly like that. I want to know what you got up here before there. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not coming on here no, looking for somebody to hunk on right away. V, I'm huh? actually very confused. I'm very confused. I, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, because you're trying to, you must thought it was a busting open game over here. No, it's not like that. You don't get what I'm no, saying because I'm not a freak. What I'm telling you, you don't have 
and know that I'm not gonna fuck her baby, then there you're gonna be friend zone. What's so hard? Well, girl, when they buy you hummers, tell them to buy you Wi Fi. Tell them to buy you some Wi Fi for your damn. Listen, I know you listen, got I got what I need. Sort of it ain't got nothing to do with the Wi Fi, honey. It's the area I'm in right now. I'm not even at home. It's the area I'm, I'm in right now. It got nothing to do with the Wi Fi. Tell them it ain't got nothing to do with that. Or something. Girl, you doing all that. Where your man at? Oh, my man. You buying it. I bet you the trick. I bet you buying everything. Where your man at? Where he buying you? Girl. Okay, then. Girl. What he buying girl. you? Where your ring at? Okay, girl. then. Yeah. Girl. These, uh -huh. these little girls Where your ring at? Playing. You sitting these here all day. Oh, you that time. Where your man at? Let's see your man. Let's hear him talk about you. Yeah, first I know. Pipe it down. Pipe it down. First of all, first of all ain't no first of all. I'm gonna take over no, this show. You go listen to me. You talk too much first for one. You you not even the type of woman that could even attract the kind of man that I have. And for the record, my man does very well. My man does very well. I do well too, but my man does better. So how about that? How about that? Here's the deal. I'm happy this happened because this goes along with everything. Because I saw a lot of you guys upset earlier about a girl I had on the show. And um, basically the title was, the title was, um, this didn't go too well. And I said I was going to talk about it on YouTube. And I was going to talk about it on Facebook. Here's the deal. I will admit, yes, I was tired on that show. So I didn't have time for the bullshit. And when I ask questions, if you answer them, everything is easy. As you just saw with V. Every time I asked a question, we had a whole backstory. We had a whole thousand things that I never got to the conclusion. I actually am wide awake. I probably would have hung up on her too. But here's the challenge we have with women. The more questions, not all women. So let me say that because it's, it's not a reality for all the women. But the more questions I ask to get to the root, the more they don't want to answer. The more all of a sudden we get a different answer that, that contradicts the first answer. And at some time, child, this is exhausting. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this. She does not represent all black women. So I want to be clear on that. We've had, I don't, I don't like representation. Michelle Obama's a black woman. Sexy Red is a black woman. Okay? So therefore, you can't make a blanket statement that applies to all women when it comes to a race. She represents herself. She represents herself. Now, here is the problem that we're having. There are some women who do not want to hear the truth about the responsibilities of what they're playing and the roles in their life. And that's just the facts of life. You want to talk in circles all day long. You do not want to get to the root that you play the role and the reality that you're living right now. And because of this role that you played, you are still attracting a certain person or a certain type of person. And again, I want to be clear, she does not represent all black women. This is not a black woman issue. This is an individual case by case situation. So you guys see it for yourself. You see it for yourself. And I'm, I'm happy I let that go as long as I did. So you guys can see this crazy shit for yourself. And you're all witnesses. And I use this example. And let me tell you, like, we had this guy. He's 5'5". Five five. He was on the show. And he basically said um, that he basically said that he doesn't want to um, date any ugly woman. He ain't arguing with no ugly woman. You can't be ugly. You got to be very attractive in order to be with him. And then I said to him, I said, well, sir, do you attract, you know, good looking women? And he said, nope, I don't. It was easy. He was able to get to the conclusion, like, what you desire, you're not receiving. So maybe you should just, you know, deal with what you have so you can have somebody. When I try to do that same thing in the case of V and with other cases at times, we can never get to that route. We can't get to that route because you're going to change the answer in order to get to the root of, okay, yes, V Cal here said her baby daddy got her pregnant by taking off the condom. Why'd you sleep with him? You said you went on Facebook and you had a new man. Then it come to find out he ain't even your man. Girl, I don't even know what that was, child. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Um, Love Dating Los Angeles said, that's why I stated, ask the industry, the women think men will make 100K more because 
women have to grow the desire of dating street dudes with illegal money. She said women have grown to date. I, I think what you're saying. The body count doesn't work that way. You must factor in the various people that you're sharing your partner with. Um, Shay, I think that's the man said, no man. Oh, Shay, it went away. I'm sorry, Shay. I should have screenshot it. It went away. It went away. Uh, not Kendra. I'm not taking up for her at all. Someone said, not Kendra. Um, I want to see what they said. I'm not taking up for her at all to be honest. <laughs> um, she was, what I'm trying to say is she doesn't represent all black women. That's that's the biggest thing I wanna, but I, I'm not defending her at all. Um, her, her life makes sense to me. The reality of her life, that makes sense to me. Um, all right, child. Oh, I think that's not the other one. <laughs> okay, let's get um, Chris. Show me your room, Chris Renee. Show me your room, Chris Renee. All right. Hello? Hey. Yes, are you ready, boo? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, trying to prop my thing back up. Okay. Okay. All right, what's your name, boo? Christy. Christy, Christy, mm -hmm. where are you calling us from? St. Louis. St. Louis. How, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a hair stylist. I own my own hair salon. You own your hair own hair salon. You have any kids? I have four. Four kids. How old? Oh, how old are you, Christy? Thirty nine. Thirty nine. How old are your four kids? Twenty one, sixteen, thirteen, and nine. Are by the same man? No. Three. How many men? Three. Three. Men. Have you ever been married? No. Never married. Um, Christy, what's the zodiac sign? Gemini. Gemini. Christy, thirty-nine. Gemini. St. Louis. Here, you own a hair salon? Yes. Own a hair salon. Mom to four kids. Three men. Never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, let's see, honest, loving, caring, um, adventurous, great personality, um, motivational, um, positive, handsome. <laughs> um, I guess that's it that I can think of. Where did that thumb come from? I see a thumb. Oh, oh that's a no. new. They told me that's the new iPhone um, tricks. Oh, because um, I'm on my iPad. Okay. Okay. But I don't know who did it. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, a liar, a cheater, um, dishonest, uh, negative. Um, I think not hardworking. Um, lazy. Um, that's all I can think of right now. That's all I can think of. Okay. So we got Chrissy, 39. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, not necessarily. Just be attractive to me, but I don't have a type. I just like what I like. Like what you like. Um, and um, what about money? She make a certain amount of money? Um, at least a hundred thousand a year. Woo, child, you know, big money, big money. Yeah. Did your children's dads make a hundred K? Yep. Okay. Actually, okay. um, my oldest two dad, I was engaged to him. He's a electrician for the railroad station. Um, my third child, which is my son, his dad, um, he works for, um, the gas station. So he does heating and cooling and my youngest daughter, uh, dad owned the franchise. Okay. Why do you said you were engaged to one of them, right? I was engaged to actually two of them. So the oldest two have the same father I was engaged to their dad. Um, and Why did then you the get youngest, Um, the oldest two I got with him when I was fourteen, and then at about twenty two, twenty three, we kind of just were not the same people, you know. Um, so I grew apart. Um, the youngest dad passed away from COVID, so that's why. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So you guys were engaged when he passed away? Yes. 
Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Okay. So that's the last child's father. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the backstory. All right. So moving forward, and you obviously make 100K. I do. Okay. Come with the 100K, fellas, or not. She can't do it. Um, let's do the Kendra cam. Um, okay. Okay, let me see this body, child. Okay. So, Christy, right? Yes. Okay. When was your last relationship? Was it your child's father? No. I actually was with someone last year. Um, it ended in June that I was okay. with for about two years. And, um, yeah, it just wasn't okay. working out. All right. Working and out. you don't have to answer, girl, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time he was intimate with someone? I choose not to answer. She's not to answer. All right. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, listening. <laughs> listening. Um, finding time. And um, what's the third flaw? Um, opening up. Opening up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Christy. St. Louis, hair salon, mom to four kids, 39, Gemini. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I am fun. Um, I have everything on my own. I don't need you to help me with anything. Um, just basically, I'm just looking for a husband to complete what I already have. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm adventurous. Um, I'm going to make sure I cater to my man. So, I have you know. a question. So little double I said, I believe her over the last lady. She's more credible, Miss Kendra. <laughs> I have a question <laughs> though. When I, <laughs> well, I have a question to you though. You just said you don't need him from anything, right? No. Well, okay. I need him to be a man. So like to cut the grass, fill up the gas tank, you know, cuddle, stuff like that. Okay. But I don't, I don't Not necessarily saying, need listen, you to come so, into. Right. So not saying that you're not going to get this, but why, if since you don't need his money and you're doing well financially, why does he have to make 100K then? Um, Because I don't want him to depend on me. So he needs to be able to take care of himself. So it seems like that's a lot of what I run across. Um, men that don't have much. So they think they can lean this way and that's just not enough. That's what you run across. Of. If you made, I thought all the men that you have, they'll be babies with, have done well. Well... I'm just saying after them, like since after the last them. person that I was with. Yeah. The last guy in June, did he make 100K? He did not. Oh, he did he not. He probably he made about 75, 80. But his, that, his, that issue wasn't his issue wasn't really financial. Um, It was cheating. And oh. yeah, he, he was a big cheater. Huge. He's cheated. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, Christy, what was the age range you want to date? Um, I would say 40 to 50. 40 to 50. So we got Christy, 39, Gemini, St. Louis, hair salon, four kids. Um, she was engaged, engaged twice to so three of her children's dad. All right, make at least 100 k All right, girl, do you want to get married one day? Is that the goal? That is the goal. What is the qualities you feel as though make you a wife? Um, because um, I feel like I can be there for you. I feel like I can support you. I can motivate you. I can encourage you. I can love on you. Um, stand behind you. Let you lead the role. You know, while still taking care of home, working. I can be assistance if you need me to be. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They just, I thought I pinned it. Someone said at the order to join the show. I'm going to have you say it again because I thought I pinned it in the comment section. They told me, okay, it wasn't pinned. So it's pinned now. All right, one more time. What qualities make you a wife? Because I am motivational. I'm going to stick beside you. I can encourage you. I can make you better. Um, I can speak with you. I'm someone who you can talk to. I'm open-minded. I'll support you when things are bad. I'll be there to help you. Um I can love on you, you know, just make you feel good inside. 
Make you feel good inside. All right, we got Christy, 39, Gemini, St. Louis, hair salon, mom to four kids, make at least 100K, so day 40 to 50. Oh, could he have kids himself? Yes, he can have kids. Okay. All right, boo, keep me posted on how it goes. All right, thank you. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. Bye. Baby. bye. Um, I thought it was Penn, so the, it, it's definitely Penn. Everybody that's here, welcome. We have a big audience tonight. So if you're watching right now, subscribe to the YouTube page, subscribe to the YouTube page, subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, also, um, like this post, like this post, like this post. Um, I got a couple of paid comments. Um, oh, what year did you, your fiance pass? She said her fiance passed during COVID, Shamara. Um, um, viewers discretional affair said V is a reflection of most women in the modern times that we live in. I cannot say V is a reflection of most women. She reflects women. Yes, there are women like her, but I'm not going to say she reflects most women, but yes, she, there is a, the, 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 the sexy red category. Okay. Like I said, there's, there's Michelle. We got all different black women child. So we're, we're, we're too, we're too wide range to make a statement like that. Does she represent women that act like that? Absolutely. But there's also black women who do not act like that. So that's true. Um, someone said to ask the last guest, what's her best single quality she can offer? Oh, child, this show is hot tonight, child. I don't know what's happening on a Monday night. <laughs> but these shows is hot tonight. Let's try to get a guy up in here. I want to try to get a guy. Do I have any guys in the chat? Chris? Okay, Chris isn't looking. Mark, Kat, is that a guy or a girl or a guy? Okay, Chris, you are a guy. Chris, show me your room. I would like to try to get a guy. And then I'll go back to my ladies. Chris, you got to show me your room, though, in order for me to select you. You got to show me the room, Chris. Can you turn the camera around? Okay, okay. I think this works. Chris, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. And your name is Chris? Yes, yeah, Chris. Chris, what you do for a living, Chris? I'm actually a fashion designer. Fashion designer. Yeah. Um, where are you calling me from? Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, how old are you? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> you have any kids? No kids. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. We got Chris, fashion designer, Charlotte, 31, Scorpio, no kids. Um, what kind of woman are you looking for, Chris? Uh, somebody that's out the way, you know, that ain't outside all the time, you know, that's about their business, trying to build and grow, you know? Someone that's out the way? What does that mean, out the way? Like, you're not like in a club, like partying all the time, trying to be outside, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you're not all in the club trying to party all the time. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Uh, somebody got their hand out all the time, or somebody that's <clears throat> don't want to talk or got an attitude all the time. It's just always an issue. Just you know, somebody that's not calm and somebody that's lots that's chill. Just be chill and live in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um. Can she have kids, Chris? I mean, yeah, she can. That's cool. All right, All right she can have kids. Do you want kids yourself? Uh, it's not a, I don't have to have none. If I do, I, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's cool. It's not like, oh yeah, I gotta have a kid. Like, oh, you don't care about that. All right. Should she be in Charlotte? Nah, you don't have to. She could be anywhere? Yeah. All right. Should she look a certain way? Just be attractive, be confident, you know, um, and just, yeah, just be confident and be attractive, you know, and when you walk in the room, own it, that's all. Okay, you said you're a fashion designer, you have your own clothing brand? Yeah, so I do, I do customs, like one-on-one -on -one customs, things like that, I sew it myself, so, uh, oh, that's yeah, I do that, so. All right, what about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, nah, not necessarily. Just as long as you can take care of yourself and, you know, the finance part, you figure that out, whatever works best for, you know, 
the partnership or whatever. So. Okay. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. I've been on here before too. It was like 2018, I think. Oh, you 2018? You're oh, okay. What's the update? Oh no, nah, ain't nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened? Nah, ain't nothing happened. Okay. Um, so you haven't dated anybody since 20? No, I, I didn't have this show in 2018. This show started in 2020. It was it was probably 2020 then. It was probably 2020. So four years ago you were on the show. Yeah. And you got no reaction? Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah, no let's, reaction. Let's see if that will change this time, Chris. Um, Chris, when was your last relationship? Seven years ago. When? Seven years ago. You have a relationship in seven years? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two months. Um, two two months ago. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on, Chris? Not being so uh, nonchalant and kind of slow down and stop moving so fast, you know, and stop letting work so much, you know, take so much of my time. Like, you know, it's always business, business, business. You know what I'm saying? Always. Okay. So you want to focus on having a relationship more? Yeah. Focus on more things other than clothes. Like. Okay. 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 All right. And um, why would a woman be lucky to be with you, Chris? Because I'm a, I'm a lover and I don't ask for much. I'm a pleaser. I'm always trying to make sure other people are straight, you know what I'm saying? Before I make sure everything, you know what I'm saying? Before I do something for myself, I do something for, for them. You know what I'm saying? I go out my way, get in my last, you know, always breaking bread with them, you know? Always breaking bread with them. All right, let's do it. Oh, what's the age range you would date? You're 31. Mm, 28, probably the lowest. 28 and up. So like 28 to, you know, mid upper thirties. Mid upper thirties. Okay. Um, so we got Chris, fashion designer, Charlotte, 31 Scorpio, no kids. All right, Chris, how could the woman reach out to you, love? <clears throat> um, IG. I'm on IG all the time. So. And what is your IG name? It's a uh, garment, like garments. So G A R. M-E-N-T, then G, zero D. What are you drinking, Chris? Water. Oh, water. Okay, got you. All right, oh, yeah, spell I'm your v IG name one more time. G-A-R-M-E-N-T, G, zero D. And there you have it. All right, Chris, keep me posted how it goes, babe. Appreciate it. All right, bye, bro. All right, um, we got... Summer J. Summer J spent $9.99 and said this. These comments about average and most black women are crazy. I've been a black woman for 42 years, travel all over the USA, and I literally know no woman like V. Level up your circle. She sent $10 to make that statement. Um, listen, man. I said it, I mean, I, I, I do stand by this. Like I said, that's why I don't like making general statements about black women because it's just not the truth. But all there's all different representations of black women. So I understand what Summer J is saying. She said, level up your circle. If you got a friend like V, level up your circle um, in life. Um, the one thing I will say, and this is, this is the challenge I have, just being transparent with you guys. Um, I'm in a very healthy relationship and um, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I do not talk. I'm a public figure. My man's not. But for clarity, my man does extremely well, like extremely well. And it just, you know, it sucks because you want to share your life, but then you also have to protect your sanity. <laughs> and you also have to protect the people that you love because you realize, although I have some cousins who I know are happy for me, and you know, love me. I have other cousins 
that are haters. And you know, you just want to be protective over the people that matter most to you. Prime example, um, Deshaun, who I put out there, the, the number one video, 29 year old, 29 year old video when I didn't get his age right. People have always asked me, why have I never had Deshaun back on the show? Well, the reason I never had Deshaun back on the show is because I didn't mind him talking about me. But at the very end of the rant, if you watched it live, he brought up my dad. So that is like, <laughs> you can't come back from life talking about my father. So that's the reason why, um, you know, it was off there. Say whatever you want to say about me. I don't give a shit. But when you bring up the people that I love, child, you know, it's, 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 it's different. And, you know, it's just, these are the moments I, I, I walk away. I, don't, I still don't consider myself a celebrity. I will say I'm a public figure. And it's just that fine walk of being so accessible, but at the same time, realizing that you can't share everything with the world. You just really can't. <laughs> you know, it's just unfortunate. You just really can't. All right. We got a lot of people tonight. So let's try to get through this. All right. Let's stay focused. Marquette, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl. Marisol. Marisol, show me your room. Show me your room, Marisol. I got to see the whole room. Okay, okay. I think we might be good. Hello, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's your name, baby? Marisol. Mar oh, Marisol. I said Marisol, child. Marisol. Yeah. Marisol. 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 I'm um, in a hotel room right now, actually. You're in a hotel room. Okay. Yeah, I'm here for the WVC conference. You're here for what? The WVC conference. The Western w Veterinarian. I don't know what that is, honey. It's a vet show. It's a what show, honey? A vet, like vets. I'm not a vet. Oh, are though. you a vet? Are you a veterinarian? No, I work for a marketing company that um, we are. Uh, we we do the marketing for certain um, companies. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. So, where do you live again, honey? <laughs> so, I'm actually born and raised Chicago. Chicago. I know you lived in Chicago. Chicago. I, I did. Um, I lived like almost 10 years of my adult life has been in Chicago. So I, I, I always love Chicago. I miss it so bad. I plan on moving back, actually. Okay, so Marisol, point. where do you live now, honey? Encino, California. Okay. You want to leave Encino, California to go back to Chicago? Yeah, I've been... Uh, so... Uh, okay, so I've been in Encino, California 10 years, and I just haven't been able to find a good support system of, like, people. Um, I think it's uh, a very, the culture is a lot differently from the Midwest. Like, people are not as friendly. People are not as friendly. Okay, like, all right. Somebody, they look at me like, why are you saying hi to me? What do you want from me? Kind of deal. Um, in Chicago, you say hi to someone. They're like, hey, what's up? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I was talking about the weather aspect. You know, in Seattle, oh. California, the weather is obviously nicer than Chicago. You know what? Um, I, when I came out here, I was like, yeah. But at this point, I think the people, to me, outweigh the weather. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's go forward. So we got Marisol. She lives in Encino, California. How old are you? 46. Okay, you're looking for 46. What do you do for a living? Um, I have three jobs. <laughs> okay. Um, what are your you three know, jobs? I live alone in California, so, you know, you have to. Um, so I work for a marketing company that's based out of Chicago. Um, I you do what? You run a marketing company? I work for a marketing company that's based out of Chicago and I branched off and I'm going to with them. Um, so I go to different uh, states, particularly Vegas and San Francisco. Um, but I work for a handful like medical tech company. Um, and then I work as a substitute teacher. And then <laughs> um, thirdly, I am in the Screen Actors Guild. So I um, acting. So, That's what do you want me to put down for your occupation, honey? Mm. Um, how about just put like marketing slash actress? Oh, you're a marketing slash actress. Okay. What yeah. movies have you been in? Have you been in movies? 
Um, I've done mainly commercials. Um, I was in my first big national commercial, the Tim Haddish. Okay, so your commercials. All right. Do you have any kids, Marisol? No, I'm not able to. Oh, you're not able to have children. Okay. Um, have you ever been I, married? I do want to adopt, though. You want to adopt? Have you ever been married? No. No. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. A Leo. All right. So we have Mar Mar Marisol, um, Encino, California, 46 Leo, has three jobs, um, no kids, never married. What kind of man are you yep. looking for, honey? Um, Somebody that's kind, that's honest, um, that would be like willing to be my cheerleader. Um, I always feel like I support other people, um, but then they don't do the same for me. So definitely someone that's supportive, honest, and kind. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, obviously cheating, um, lying, and somebody that's not willing to, um, to work as a dual, that all they do is think about themselves. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, I mean... Everyone finds every person attractive to, according to, like, I could look at someone and say, oh my God, he's attractive. And other, another person might say, he's okay. So I think it's the eyes of the beholder um, type of deal. Um, yeah. Okay. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, believe it or not, um, I just believe that the person should be able to support themselves and maybe just have a little bit extra money so that we can, you know, take vacations and trips or whatever. Okay. Um, on the vacation trips, is he paying for everything? Um, I would say at least 70% of it, I would hope. Okay. 70% of it. You pay the 30%. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we see you, Marisol. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm tiny. You're tiny. <laughs> but I have hips, though. <laughs> uh, Marisol, what's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm a mixture of things. Um, I'm Puerto Rican, Spaniard from Portugal, Native American, and Sicilian. Okay. Um, do you, okay, someone just paid. Do you have a preference in ethnicity? They're telling me to ask you, do you, are you looking for a black man? Um, I like mix, mix people. Mix with anything in particular? Anything, just as long as they're mixed. I like mix. As long as they're mixed, okay. Marisol, um, do you want him to be in California? Um, not necessarily. He could be in Chicago <laughs> since I want to move back. Um, but okay. if he's in California, that's cool too. Um, just the thing is, when you live in California, if let's say the person is more than 20 miles away, they don't even want to drive to you. So, okay. So you want a guy in Chicago, which is very far away. No, no, no. I, no, what, I guess what I'm saying is like, I wouldn't mind having someone in Chicago, like when we could do a long distance thing until I move back. Or if the person is in California, like, I don't want someone to say, oh, okay, I live in, let's say, I live in, um, well, I probably shouldn't say the area I live in, right, out loud? Well, I did, did, did I say it earlier? You said Encino, California. Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. <laughs> so let's say um, I'm in Encino, California, and the person is, like, let's say, Long Beach or Redondo Beach, they'll say, hey, let's meet at Culver City. And they constantly want to meet in Culver City. And you're just like, you know, I'm a female. Can you can you not at least come down to me like once or twice? Like um, also, too, I think a big reason why I'm single is because I'm 46. And obviously on dating websites, um, you put the age 46 and right away they're, you're like not even in their bracket. But 
when I, but if somebody meets me, obviously I look younger than my age. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you gave me your three flaws, right? I think I forgot my last question. Oh, when was it? No, I didn't get there yet. When was your last relationship? 11 years ago. 11 years ago? Yes. So you're 46. So what is that? 35? Yes. It's when I moved to uh, California. So um, I broke up with the boyfriend in Chicago and then I moved out here and I, I've been single since. So have you, okay. So you don't have to answer this question, but I have to, I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Like five years ago. <laughs> okay. So are you on a celibacy journey? No, I just haven't met somebody that I would be interested in giving myself to. Okay, so it's not that you're waiting to marriage, you're waiting for a relationship. Someone that generally cares about. Okay, so no casual sex, she wants relationship sex, correct? Yeah, I mean, if I wanted that, I mean, that could happen like in California, like they'll come to your door like this, but that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. All right, so what are three flaws you have to work on, Marisol? I would say, um, uh, I can talk a lot. So I'm trying to become a little bit more reserved because um, I would say I'm a very transparent person, uh, a bit of an open book. Um, but I noticed that pe men in general love mystery and so i need to be a little bit more reserved and hold back um and then i would say number two is i think because i'm in my 40s like i need to be more patient because i've seen so so many weird crazy things in california that kind of like is so shocking to me to the point where it's like i have no patience now starting as soon as i start seeing some red flags i'm like deuces i'm up and I'm out. <laughs> um, and then thirdly, I would say, um, crap, let me see. Um, a flaw, a flaw, a flaw, a flaw, a flaw. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of a third one. I'm sure I have one, a third one. I just can't think of it. Well, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Marisol? Um, I'm actually a genuinely kind person. Like, I'm very much pretty much an open book. Um, I'm also very inviting. So I have I think that's why I get a lot of creepy people that try to like want to talk to me or date me or uh, even when it comes to friendships, uh, a lot of like a lot of men come to me all the time and um, they let me know that they're either down low or they're bisexual or yeah, all these things. I think it's because I'm like very open in the sense of like, I'm not gonna sit there and judge them. Um, so I've been meeting a lot of like, you know, obviously I'm not gonna date them, but I've already had like four guys that were like either down low or gay or bisexual that before they even knew they were gay, try to date me. Um, some that are bisexual trying to date me. Um, so I, it happens often to me, but, um, I take it as a compliment because I, for the, for the most part, I think gay guys have really great taste in women. So, but I don't want to date them, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> have I any know. straight men try to talk to you? What did you say? Have any straight men try to talk to you? Yeah. I mean, of course, but like, um, I'm just not like, uh, I'm not like attracted to them. So I, I don't wanna- Not like, attracted to the straight men. No, to some of the straight men that have um, tried to talk to me. But for the most part, um, I, I live, I'm an extrovert that lives in an introvert lifestyle, which is weird. Let me just ask this for clarity. Did you find the bisexual and gay men attractive? Um. There was one that was um, gay in Chicago, actually. And uh, he asked me out and I was like, oh, how old are you? And he ended up being like 
four years younger than me. And at that time I was like, well, you're too young for me. Now I'll date somebody that's four years younger. But, um, I mean, he, he asked me out continuously for probably about six months, but I told him, I said, I think you're gay. And he did a year later, he turned, he came out gay. Okay. I have um, good, okay, I'm going to read. I have good gaydar because my brother's gay and he's married. Is he married to a man? Yes. Oh, okay. Now, Shay, Shay is a guy. He sent this and said, respectfully, your husband is back in Chicago, lady. You came to California and wasted over 10 years. Um, you don't have family in California. So he's saying maybe you should go back to Chicago since that's where you want to be. Is he psychic? Because my whole my my sister said the same thing. <laughs> and whenever I go to Chicago, I always get hit on, and I I find the men like really attractive there. Um, Alicia said, Alicia said, dating in LA, dating in LA is straight trash. Highly difficult to find a serious and stable man with a solid character out here. So it's understandable that she's been single for a long. I feel her frustration. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're going to go, Marisol. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, my Facebook is, well, my last name, is, it's Marisol Velez. So that's your Facebook? That's the name? Yeah, my last right name there? is Velez. V as in So Victor. is that how they can find you on Facebook by that name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, honey. Well, listen, um, and what's the age range you would date? You're 46. So I would say 36 to 49, because um, if I date a 49 year old, I would love to spend his 50th birthday with him. <laughs> so, yeah. OK, OK, you got it planned out. All right, Mar Marisol, you, you keep me posted how it goes, girl. I hope so, girl. Like, pray for me. Uh, Lord knows, like, I need all the great vibes and, you know, good vibes and blessings out there for sure. OK. Well, you keep me posted, baby girl. All right, we'll sending you, you positive vibes. All right, bye, can baby. Can I ask you one? Can I ask you one quick question? Do you miss Chicago? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I and let me say this: I Chicago, I would not be where I am without the city of Chicago. Um, that city embraced me. I spent a lot of years there. Um, but I'm I I love my California life. Um, I wake up every day and I feel like I'm living in a dream. So I, I, I wouldn't change my life as it is today for anything. That's just, that's my truth though. That not necessarily could be yours. No, I, I get it totally. Like when I'm on set and, you know, I'm working with like all these big well-known actors and actresses, it like brings me back to why I'm here. But at the end of the day, it's like, um, I, I cannot deal with fakeness. Like fakeness drives me bonkers i've met so many people that they just want to be my friend until they could get something from me you know well, and then the once they get life. it you gotta you gotta filter through the authentic people you can do it though just use your discernment yeah okay, baby? but i've been i've been doing that and it's been um like now i'm afraid to to become friends with people because i've had men and women use me well, you just got to stop being the person to be used and start getting more of a tough bone. I got to go, though. I love you. Right. Keep me posted how the dating goes. All right, Kendra. Have a great night. All right. Bye, baby girl. Bye, bye. baby. Woo! <laughs> Woo, Mary's talk to talk, child. You, she needs somebody to talk to. Um, there was some... I wanted to talk about this because I felt like um, someone made this paid comment earlier. Lord of Leon, I, I screenshotted it because I want to stay true to the show. If you just tuned in, boy, oh boy, I mean, V was obviously the most rememberable guest on this show tonight. Um, and I, there was a conversation about her, but Summer J came on and said she does represent all black women. Lord of Leon said, Summer J, he responded to your statement earlier, Summer J. Um, she said, he says, you never met a woman that was defensive, low class, liars, disrespectful, with weird hair color, and a quick temper. I have. Well, Lord of Leon, I want to say this. This show right here brings everybody to the world together, right? But there are a lot of people on this show who see people on this show who are not in their real life. 
<laughs> that, that could be very true. Even gay people, like I got people that watch, so there's people that have never met gay people, it's not popular where they live. So it's very, it could be very true that in her real life, there is nobody like V. So that could be her reality, Lord of Leon, and your reality could be your reality too, child. Okay. All right. Um, let's try. Danielle, show me your room, Danielle. Danielle, show me your room. Yes, yeah, show me your room. And then I'll go to a guy after Danielle. All right, let me see. You ready? Hello? Hey. Hey. Um, How are you? Good. And what, your name is Danielle? My name is Danielle, yes. Danielle, where are you calling me from, boo? I'm in Houston, Texas. Houston. Um, mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 43. 43? Okay, you're looking at 43. What you do for a living, boo? <laughs> um, I work in corporate compliance and financial services. Corporate compliance. You have any children? I do. I have three kids. I have a 25-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 13-year-old. Okay. All about the same man? So, no. My oldest, ugh, I had her when I was 17. I was young and dumb. Um, and then my other two are by my ex-husband. Okay. When did you get divorced? 2013, October. Oh, ooh, you remember, child. Uh, what's I your do. zodiac sign? What's I'm your zodiac sign, Danielle? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. So we got Danielle Houston, 43, Sagittarius. Um, you said corporate compliance and finance? Financial services, yes. I work for a large Financial bank. Services. Say again? Mm -hmm. I work for a large bank. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Mine are three kids by two men. Um, two of her children are by her ex-husband. She is mm -hmm. now divorced. You only been married one time? Yes. Okay. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? You know what? I'm so flexible. I don't really have, like, people come up with all these shenanigans with all these deal breakers. I don't have a lot of deal breakers. I have two. I need him to be Christian and, like, follow his Christianity walk. Um, and I, I, he can't want to have more children. I don't want any more children. I'm not having any more children. That's it. He can have kids, though. He can have kids, Absolutely. Okay, so he be a Christian and don't desire for you to have any more children. Correct. That's all that you require. That's not all that I require, but those are my two deal breakers. Okay, non-negotiables, you mean? My non-negotiables, yes. Fair enough. Okay, so now, um, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, I don't have a preference in the looks category. I'm open. Um, I've been engaged to someone who's 5'7". I've been married to someone who's 6'3", so I don't really have a height requirement. Um, I don't have an ethnicity requirement. Um, as far as income, because that's a, like the big debatable thing, right? I don't have, I do have, I don't have a deal breaker when it comes to income. However, you have to be able to support yourself. I don't want to support you. I don't want to have to help you. I don't want to support you. I'm not doing any of those things. Um, so there's really not a requirement. It depends on your lifestyle, right? Like people can manage their lifestyle on different budgets. I have three children. I make a certain amount of income. Um, so someone maybe who doesn't have children, maybe they don't need to make as much as I do. And that's fine. As long as you come to me completely whole and you can support yourself, I am okay with that. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Well, no, those are the only two deal breakers that I had. The ones that I mentioned is that he has to be Christian and that he can't want to have additional children. Okay. I mean, of course, he now, can't be alive. But to me, let me say this, though. When I say that he's Christian, that means he's walking his walk. So he shouldn't be a liar. You shouldn't be a cheater. You know, all of those things that would naturally you would expect. Um. I'm honestly, Kendra, like, honestly, I'm open. I have tried so many things and, the, and I've met a lot of great men, but the main thing is they're not Christian. And that's just- So are you abstaining um, from sex? Oh, let me be, I'm be honest, okay? So yes, I am currently, but the last, I've heard you ask a couple of people if they've had sex. The last time I had sex was November of last year. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. So and you I'm just not started abstaining, what happened? So you just started abstaining from sex in November? 
Yeah, I have several other times. Um, I'm not perfect and I'm not asking for him to be perfect. Okay. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> and respectfully so. I always bring this up because one thing you are driving home is he must be a Christian man. He must be a Christian man. Yeah. I know that that's the number one thing Christianity preaches, which is no sex before marriage. So that doesn't matter too much to you. That's what they I mean. There's a lot of things that are preached in Christianity, but I am not a perfect person and I'm not asking. Okay, so but, but, but here's the deal. You're telling us because we got to be clear. You're telling us he must walk as a Christian. That is a deal breaker to you if he's not walking as a Christian. So what, how, what um, qualities to you represent a man walking in his Christianity? Well, so we all have our flaws. Like we all, we all have sin. I'm not, so I'm not saying you cannot be, you need to work towards not sinning. That's the point. But if, can I have a conversation with you about the Bible? Can I have a calm? Can we read it together? Can we pray together? Those are the things because we're trying to get better together, right? So I'm not expecting him to be perfect. That's impossible. What I am expecting is, can I have an intelligent conversation with you about the Bible? Can we pray together so that we can get, you know, better together? Those are the things that I mean. Well, the only reason I'm deep diving is because, I mean, I was about to move on and, and, and you said it very clear that you will not date a man who's not walking as a Christian man. That's why I asked, is this about, you know, sex? Because that's the most popular thing I think of when women say that. Um, mm -hmm. But now you said, so now are you abstaining from sex until marriage? Is that your goal? Well, now I'm abstaining from sex. I'm going to say that. Like, I, I mean, I've gone like this. I'm just like any other person in the world, right? Like, I've gone like this. I'm not saying that. For me, would I like to prefer to, to wait until I'm married again? Absolutely. I've gone three years, three times. Have I completed that journey? No. So I don't want to be a liar and just be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to wait until I get married again. I've said that now twice. This is my third time around. So I don't want to say that either. I'm not again, I'm not looking for perfection. What I'm looking for is, can you open your Bible with me and read with me? And can we pray together? That's it. That's all I'm saying. OK. You know, some of the cousins, they get on you, girl. You said what? Some of the cousins in the comment section, they get on you, girl. They call you a lukewarm Christian. No, I'm not a lukewarm Christian at all, but I'm not going to judge other people and just be like, and I'm not going to do that either because there's also Christianity who just judges everybody. I'm not that person. I don't want to judge anybody because you judge somebody, God's going to judge me the same way. I'm not lukewarm at all. I read my word. I pray regularly. I'm abstaining from sex today. And can I say in a year or two years that something won't happen? And the reason I'm saying that is because I've been there and I've done that, right? So I can understand other people. And I'm not harping on Christianity. What I am harping on is I at least want a man to have the same faith that I do. I no, can't date a real quick. You are definitely, but real quick, you are harping on Christianity because that's what you said. And you said it very clear a couple of times. Your yeah. non-negotiable was a man that's not walking as a Christian. So I was actually about to move on to something else. And then you had said it again. And that's when I was like, okay, well, maybe I need to deep dive to get clarity. So the clarity <laughs> is this. For you, walking as a Christian means someone you can pray with and read the Bible with and believe in Jesus. Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Should the guy look a certain way? No. So <laughs> the guys that I've dated, they all look differently. Um, I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to. I've, I've dated guys, though. I've tried to date guys. And I've if I'm just not attracted to you, there's nothing that you can do to, uh, you know, obtain attraction. Um, do I have a criteria for attraction? No, I don't. I don't. OK. Well, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? He needs to be able to support himself. That's my main thing. I don't have a dollar amount. Um, I feel, I mean, I do okay. I'm not out here spending my money on trips and um, buying a whole bunch of extra extravagant things. And he doesn't need to either, but he does need to be able to sustain his lifestyle without me trying, without me having to add to it. I don't want to do that either. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam. <sighs> okay. And I have on baggy clothes today, so, but I have on shorts up under my sweats. Okay, all right, we see you. Okay, girlfriend, we see you, DL. Oh, DL, you're in Houston, right? I am in Houston. 
Do you want the guy to be in Houston? I would prefer he be in Houston, yes. Okay. What's the age range you want to date? You're 43. Um, 37 to 47. I'm flexible on that as well, though, but 37 to 47 is ideal. And he can have kids already because you obviously don't want any more, you said, right? Oh, yeah. I would prefer that okay. he has children. All right. What was your last relationship? Uh, November 2022. All right. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? November 2023. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. I can be mean sometimes. <laughs> um, it is not really. So that's one thing. Um, and just because I can read through BS, I just don't have time for that. Um, and I will call people out on their stuff. Um, maybe also being a little bit more patient with people in general. I probably need to do that. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like I worked on a lot. I'm trying to think of something else. I'm really trying to find it. But I can't find it right now. You only got two flaws. No, I'm saying I may have more than that. I'm sure I do. According to who you ask, I may have more. But that's the main thing that I hear is that I'm mean. I feel that you're mean? Mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, we got to work on that. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I am extremely loyal. Um, I'm compassionate. I have my head on straight. Um, I can go from the boardroom to the ball to the hood. It doesn't matter. I'm flexible. Um, I'm, I have a lot of great qualities. It's just I just need someone who's very straightforward. Like I can appreciate you telling me the truth versus that's going to you tell me the truth and it's going to hurt me versus you lying in my face because that's going to bring out a different side of me. OK, all right, let's do it. OK, so we got Danielle Houston, 43, Sagittarius. Um, you have been married before, correct? Yes. Do you want to get married again? Yeah, absolutely. All right. She works for corporate compliance and a financial service company, a big law, a big bank, you said, correct? Yes. All right. How can the guy reach out to you, Boo? Uh, my IG is simply Danny. So it's simply in D A N I underscore Danielle. All right. And you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay, I will. All right, bye, baby. All right, um, bye. Someone, said, someone said, Kendra, keep living in California. You'll see all the fake people. Of course, I see. I, first of all, y'all know I come from the music industry. There's thousands of fake people. I get it, but I also have good discernment. And then I have a good, tight circle, uh, you know, and obviously, and I do have industry relationships where I know we are only friends, child, because of the industry that we work in. And that's cool. But those aren't real friends. Those are industry friends. Someone said, you'll see the fake people. Fake people, and yes, I, I, I can't admit there are a lot um, in L.A. That that could be truthful. But I would still not choose any place else in the world to live. <laughs> that's just my honest truth. Um, let's get a guy. Tony, show me your room, Tony. I got to get a guy. Um. Unique, I know you've been waiting. I'll come to you after Tony, Unique. Let me get Tony because I got to get a guy. Tony, show me your room. You got to show me your room in order for me to pick you, Tony. All right. Go to the other side of the room. Uh, Tony, you're here three times? What is going on? Are you ready? Kendra. Hey. Are you ready, baby? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. I can. Is your name Tony? Your name is Tony, right? Hey. All right, Tony, Tony, where are you calling us from, babe? From Wisconsin. Wisconsin, how old are you? 26. 26, what you do for a living? Uh, I'm a manager at a store. Okay, Um, you have any kids? Uh, No kids. No kids? Um, What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Cancer, last day. Can Leo. Okay. We got Tony, Wisconsin, 26, Cancer, manager at a store, um, no kids. What kind of woman are you looking for? Um, So I'm in the both. I'm in the guys and girls. So okay. I'm a personality person. So I'm in anybody that I could vibe with and get along with and can see myself with them. Uh, not too much. I'm not too maintained. Uh, well, 
I keep maintained, but I don't look for too much. I'm a I, I'm pretty dedicated with work. I'm always busy. So someone that could understand like a work and lifestyle, but I'm honestly the personality really out of everything. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, lazy people. I hate somebody that doesn't want to work or doesn't want to do nothing. Just want to sit around all day. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Or somebody that want to stay at home all day. I kind of want to be adventurous, but me, I just don't like doing shit or doing stuff alone, doing stuff alone. So I want somebody to let's go explore everything. Have fun. Okay. Um, should the man or woman look a certain way? No, I mean, they got to be cute, but honestly, no, uh, cannot be overweight. I will say, but, uh, I'm all about somebody working on themselves. So, uh, no expectations for that. Okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Or uh, not really, uh, something that where they can just maintain themselves. Uh, let's go do some stuff, uh, some days, um, have extra spending money, but not really nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. All right, let's do the Kendrick cam, Tony. Um, fun fact, I don't care. I like that shirt. Oh yeah, fun fact. Ooh, I, just, I need that shirt, here. child. Fun facts, I don't care. <laughs> we gotta see your legs though. Move back. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, we see you. Now, so ooh, we got you. We got you, baby. We got you, Tony. Tony, you told me you date men and men and women. When was who did you date last? Uh, last was about like a year and a half ago. It was my first guy relationship, and it was ass. I, at first, of course, it was nice, but we only dated for like four months. I was traveling. They live like three hours away, mind you. I was traveling, and uh. I don't know. They just ended up viewing the world like all negative and shit. So I didn't like that. So I got out of that. That was your first, that was your first time. That was your first time ever dating a guy. So were you curious up until that moment, or did you know you liked men? Uh, I feel like I was always curious, mostly throughout like high school and then college and then whatnot. Okay. After college is when I kind of came out. I kind of did OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, you did only you did your OnlyFans person too? Are you still up there? Uh, no, I did that for like four years. I stopped when I got into the relationship and then uh, deleted everything. With the guy? You stopped when you got into the relationship with the guy? Yeah. Um, I don't what think they- What were you doing on your OnlyFans page? I'm sorry, what? What what, what? what was you doing on your OnlyFans page? A little bit of everything. With men and women? It was, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. I, I don't want to know anymore. All right. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. I choose not to answer. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, Communication is a big one. So, like, in past relationships, uh, they'll say communication is a big one. So, like, mostly I work a lot. So, like, I work with people. When I come home, sometimes I'm, like, not, I don't know. And plus, a lot of relationships were long distance because I was going from college to home and shit stuff. So, communication. Um, I need to spend more time focused on myself. Well, not myself, but like on stuff when I'm not home. Uh, not working, I mean. Focus on doing some more stuff. So, like, I'm artist person. I always have like random hobbies, but I want to do other stuff. But. I just never put myself out there. I'm kind of a... Uh, okay. And what's the age range you would date? I'm sorry, what? Age range. You're 26. Uh, I don't like anyone younger or like around my age. So I like people in their 30s. Okay. Now, do you have a gender preference? Do you prefer a man or a woman? Now, leaning towards more guys. Only because I've dated women all my life so or most of my life uh and i yeah my last one i was a stepdad to three kids of a woman 
Yeah, uh, that was like. And that's yeah. what made you decide to start. You was like, "Fuck this, I'm gonna go to big men." <laughs> it was a lot. You said you got three kids. She made you not want vagina no more. I don't know. I mean, craving now and then, but not all the time. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Um. Okay, Pookie's baby mama said, "People want to know." Can you be completely committed to a woman even while attracted to men? Or are you more interested in a poly situation? So honestly, it's it like if I don't know. It's whatever so I've communicated with that with the person. So I'm open for anything. But I will be like in relationships, I will be loyal when it's there. There have been times where I've cheated before. Um, did you cheat when you cheated? Did you cheat with the uh, the opposite gender of who you was in a relationship with? Yeah, but that was kind of like more finding me out earlier on. But uh, now, though, I could totally dedicate myself to a person. Like when I was with that dude, I regret deleting everything. I was so mad. The OnlyFans and Twitter, I was popping at the time, and ugh, it's annoying. But I don't know. Well, that is the concern that women have if they're open minded to try. No, I that's by But everyone. you also said you prefer a man tonight. Yeah. It's personality, though. Like, whoever I meet first. And it's open right. and things. I'm completely, I'm open book if they ask. Are you, are you, do you think you could be committed to that individual? I think so, yeah. Um, so I went through a period where I was always in a relationship. And now I'm, it's been like five, six years where it's only just been one person. And uh, so I've been trying to find myself and homing in on who I truly am. So definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do it. How could the guy or woman reach out to you, babe? Um, I think I have my at sign at there. Uh, Instagram, basically all socials is G-R-E-E-R-A-0-8. All right. And there you have it. All right, Tony, keep me posted, babe. All right. See you. Bye, boo. All right. Um, Unique, show me the room, Unique. Unique, show me your room. Okay. You ready? Okay, Andrea. Hi, honey. You ready, mama? I am. Unique, where you calling us from? I'm calling from Dallas. Dallas, how old are you? I am 52. Okay, you look younger than 52. What do you do for a living? I am retired. Retired. Okay. And do you have any children? I have two, two boys. Two boys. Well, um, I'm going to say two men. Two men? Oh, two men. How old are your boys? Well, two men. They're 31 and 26. Okay, both by the same man? No, two. Two men. Have you ever been married? No. No. Um, and you're retired. What's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. So we got Unique in Dallas, 52, retired, is a Capricorn, mind of two grown boys, and never married. Um, by two men. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, I'm looking for a single, single man. Um, I actually made a list. <laughs> um, okay. A man that's God-fearing, uh, loyal, honesty, um, trustworthy, a man who takes care of his kids or his responsibilities, um, a man who doesn't want any more kids. Family oriented, a provider, and a little bit taller than me. How tall are you? Five two. Five two. Okay. Okay, five two. So a little bit taller, five five? That's fine. Okay, just taller than you. Now what are your deal? Did you write are you done or does there more? I'm done with that. Okay. Did you write down your deal breakers? I did. Um, okay, what are you doing? A non communicator. A person who says what he's going to do, 
but there's there's no action. Um, a narcissist, a controller, a liar, a smoker. I have asthma, so I can't be around a smoker. Um, a man who points the finger but doesn't admit to his own faults. And uh, baby mama drama. Okay. Uh, should he look a certain way? Um, just pleasing to, to me. Uh, I'm more of a personality type person. Okay. So what about pleasing to my eyes? Pleasing to your eyes. Should he be in Dallas? I would prefer. You prefer. What's the age range you would date? You're 52. Um, 47 to maybe 58, 59. Okay, so you will go younger. Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, just enough to, to, to take care of his responsibility to, you know, maintain himself. Um, I would say if I had to put a, a, a figure on it, uh, I would say maybe 65 and up. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam, 65 and up. Okay. Okay. All right. We see you, boo. Um, when was your last relationship, Unique? Um, May of last year. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I prefer not to answer. Okay. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, a guy would be blessed to be with me um, because I'm, I'm respectful. Um, I'm loyal. I'm am ambitious. Um, I understand. I'm a person that... Um, he could come home and talk to about anything. I, I never close my doors on anything. Um, I cater to the men that I love. Uh, I'm a nurturer. I like quality time. Um, I can cook and I'll pour into him. Okay. I forgot to ask the three flaws. What are the three flaws you have to work on? Uh, <laughs> my three flaws is um, I'm a little bit of a procrastinator. Uh, I procrastinate, but I, I do get the job done. Anything that needs to be done. I'm an overthinker. And um, I need to be more mindful of staying in a relationship too long by forgiving and giving too many chances. So, you know, I'm, I'm one of those that believe in giving chances. So. It's been it's been kind of rough giving giving many chances. So okay, so you done with that? So we got unique Dallas, fifty two Capricorn, minus two boys, um, by two men, um, retired, made sixty five k, and the age range was what was it again? Forty seven to fifty nine. All right, all right, boo. How can the guy reach out to you, baby girl? Um, I put my. My Instagram right there, one dot unique dot Renee. Uh, my page is private, but if you send me a message, I promise you I'll reach out to you. Okay, send her a message and she promises you she'll reach out to you. All right, Miss <laughs> Unique, honey, you keep me posted how it goes, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, baby. Have a good night. You too. Tonight was a night, cousins. Tonight was a night. All right, we got to go. I will see you guys on Wednesday. We'll be back live on Wednesday, and I will see y'all then. Bye, cousins. If I didn't get you, please don't be upset. We had a lot of people today. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe to the YouTube page.